everything that art does is just about atmosphere. What we do is the mood shifts. Something feels different. You open into something that you weren't previously open to. The view that you've been looking at every day doesn't look the same somehow. My ideal is to create something where the person next to you saw something utterly different than what you saw. So at the end of the performance, there has to be a discussion. Art was important to me since I was little because it was the only way I could express myself. Through theater, I was able to have a position in front of an audience, in front of my family, in front of the society. There was, of course, a narcissistic streak in that, you know, when you're young, you want to show off in a way. But essentially, it was about having a platform to say things that are not sometimes understandable and not necessarily logical or rational. It's a very powerful place. Uh, it's a weapon. <laughs> So far, I've been more a performer and doing solo work, but now I'm starting to have that faith in leading other people. You meet her and you're instantly struck by her warmth, her intelligence, her life force. <laughs> Mainly what's important for me in this experience is actually meeting Peter because he's a precious person. That's the question. Is it a party? Gathering is fine, but is it a party? <laughs> it's important for the director not to have an exalted idea of their own importance. The entire job is summed up in three words. Will this help? If it won't help, please don't do it. <laughs> It was important to me to work with a woman artist, you know, from a culture where already being a woman there will be issues. And that the intervention of Rolex could really help move obstacles and call people's attention to an extraordinary and prodigious individual. Theater can do things on a social level. People speak to each other and it's very rare now, in our world, to have these kinds of places. There are weddings, funerals, and theater. To be perfectly honest, I was really interested in her. I'm the person who needs to learn. I'm the person who has a world that needs to open to me to decouple the religious affiliation from voting. Yeah. The whole initiative and Peter have empowered me in a way to do the things that I should be doing, and that I can do, but I need that push. What Rolex has done over the last 10 years is created a network of contacts, of conversations, of expertise, of wisdom, of taste, of extraordinary artistic communities that are being formed across every possible geographic border. What changes the world is conversations. What changes the world is people entering each other's spheres of influence. What changes the world is being with people you admire and realizing things are possible. Mm -hmm.